this video we are going to explain about the project title a hybrid method of feature extraction for signatures verification using cnn and hog a multi classification approach introduction biometrics refer to using unique behavioral or psychological characteristics to identify individuals handwritten signatures are widely accepted as a form of biometric verification where the individual's unique writing style serves as the basis for authentication Offline signature verification is more challenging compared to online verification because dynamic variables like pen tip pressure, velocity and acceleration which provide valuable information for authentication are not available in static signature images. Previous research has emphasized the difficulty in offline signature verification especially in differentiating authentic signatures from skilled forgeries. Skilled forgeries often lack the dynamic components present in genuine signatures making the task more challenging. Feature extraction is a crucial step in offline signature verification. It involves identifying relevant patterns and characteristics from signature images that aid in distinguishing genuine signatures from forgeries. Effective feature extraction greatly influences the accuracy of the verification system. The project's objective is to improve offline signature verification by utilizing a hybrid approach that integrates both deep learning and machine learning classifiers. This combination aims to enhance feature extraction and classification from signature images leading to more accurate authentication. Objective The objective of the project is to improve the feature extraction stage in offline signature verification systems by developing a hybrid method that combines deep learning convolutional neural network CNN and machine learning histogram of oriented gradients hog techniques. The project aims to enhance classifier algorithms to better differentiate genuine signatures from skilled forgeries, improving the reliability and accuracy of offline signature verification systems. The hybrid method's effectiveness will be evaluated using LSTM long short term memory SVM support vector machine and KNN K nearest neighbor classifiers allowing a comprehensive assessment of its performance and suitability for signature verification. The project's ultimate objective is to achieve heightened accuracy in differentiating authentic and forged signatures showcasing the potential for a highly precise offline signature verification system. requirements hardware requirements which include operating system of windows processor of 55 and above ram of 8 gb and above hard disk of 25 gb and above software requirements in which we have anaconda 3 and visual studio community version working modules of flow of work to implement this project we have designed the following steps the first step is importing the packages In this step the necessary libraries and modules are imported into the project environment. These packages provide essential functionalities for data processing, machine learning, image processing and other tasks in the project. Exploring the data set. This step involves a comprehensive exploration of two specific data sets, CEDAR and UT signature data set. Understanding the structure, features and characteristics of these data sets is crucial for effective data pre-processing and model training. Image processing using image data generator. Image data generator is a critical tool in preparing the signature images for model training. This step involves various image processing techniques to augment the data set and enhance the model's learning capabilities. Rescaling the image adjusting the image scale to a standardized format ensuring uniformity in data representation share transformation altering the shape of the image by shifting one part of the image in a particular direction zooming the image adjusting the zoom level of the image to improve model robustness again different scales horizontal flip flipping the image horizontally generating a mirrored version of the original image reshaping the image altering the image dimensions to suit the model's input requirements feature extraction using cnn and hog model Re- reading the image the first step involves reading the signature image from the data set This is a crucial step to access the image data for subsequent processing. Resizing the image. The images are resized to a standardized format suitable for further processing. 
Standardizing image sizes ensures consistency in feature extraction. Convert the color. The color space of the image is converted to a suitable representation. This step ensures uniformity and consistency in color information across the data set. Appending the image in labels. Each pre-processed image is associated with its respective label or class, enabling supervised training of the model. This forms the label data set used for training. Conversion to NumPy value. The image data and labels are converted to NumPy arrays, a data format suitable for feeding into machine learning models. NumPy arrays facilitate efficient processing and manipulation of the data. Label encoding. Categorical labels are encoded into numerical values using label encoding. This transformation is crucial for model training as most machine learning models work with numerical inputs. Building the model. Building the model involves combining CNN and HOG for feature extraction, utilizing decision trees and ensembles for feature selection, and training various classifiers to distinguish genuine from false signatures, resulting in an accurate and robust signature verification system. Feature extraction using CNN and HOG with feature selection using DT and RF. Feature extraction is performed using a hybrid approach involving both CNN and HOG. CNN extracts these features from images while HOG focuses on spatial features. These features are combined and further processed. Decision trees with random forest are employed for feature selection, helping identify the most significant features extracted by CNN and HOG. This enhances the feature set for classification. Exception. Exception, a deep learning model is utilized for features extraction, enhancing the representation and discriminative power of features extracted from the signatures. HOG, histogram of oriented gradients, is used as a feature extraction technique to capture the spatial features of the signature images. Training the model, the pre-processed data and the selected features are used to train the model. The hybrid approach and models like exception are trained to learn the patterns and features that distinguish genuine from false signatures. FLAS framework with SQLite for sign up and sign in. FLAS, a web application framework, is configured to provide user sign up and sign in functionality using SQLite, a lightweight relational database. This enables users to interact with the system security. User upload an image for analysis. Users can upload their signature images for analysis through the developed interface. This is a crucial step to allow users to interact with the system and test its capabilities. The given input is pre-processed. The uploaded image is pre-processed using similar steps as during feature extraction, ensuring the input image is in a suitable format for analysis. The trained model is used for predicting the result. The trained model is utilized to predict whether the provided signature is genuine or a forgery. The features extracted using the hybrid approach and the selected classifiers contribute to this prediction. Final outcome is displayed. The result of the prediction indicating whether the provided signature is genuine or a forgery is displayed to the user offering insights based on the trained model's analysis. Algorithms used in this project, we have used the following algorithms SVM, KNN, and LSTM. SVM, Support Vector Machine, is a powerful classification algorithm used to separate classes by finding the best type of tree that maximizes the margin between data points. In this project, SVM is applied to classify features extracted using CNN, HOG, or their combination aiding in distinguishing genuine from false signatures with high accuracy. KNN, K-nearest neighbor, is a simple and effective algorithm where a data point is classified based on the majority class among its K-nearest neighbors. In the project, KNN is employed to classify features extracted using CNN, HOG or their combination providing an intuitive classification approach for signature verification. LSTM, long short term memory, is a type of recurrent neural network RNN designed to capture long term dependencies in sequential data. In this project, LSTM is used to model sequential information in the signature data, enabling a more sophisticated analysis of the signature features extracted by CNN, HOG, or their hybrid combination. 
assemble models combine predictions from various models yielding a stronger and precise final prediction for signature verification comparison graph of cedar dataset cedr dataset is a widely recognized dataset used in signature verification research it consists of a collection of signature samples captured from various individuals encompassing genuine and false signatures researchers use this dataset to develop and evaluate signature verification systems making it an essential resource for this project This is the accuracy comparison graph on the x axis we have the accuracy score and on the y axis we have the algorithm name This is the precision comparison graph on the x axis we have the precision score and on the y axis we have the algorithm name This is the recall comparison graph on the x axis we have the recall score and on the y axis we have the algorithm name This is the FN comparison graph. On the x-axis we have the FN score and on the y-axis we have the algorithm name. Comparison graph of UT signature dataset. UT signature dataset is another significant dataset for signature verification research. It comprises genuine and false signature samples providing a diverse set of data for training and testing. The UT signature dataset is utilized to enhance the variety of signatures considered in the project, allowing for a more comprehensive evaluation of the proposed hybrid feature extraction approach. This is the accuracy comparison graph. On the x-axis we have the accuracy score and on the y-axis we have the algorithm name. This is the precision comparison graph. On the x-axis we have the precision score and on the y-axis we have the algorithm name. This is the recall comparison graph of UT signature dataset. On the x-axis we have the recall score and on the y-axis we have the algorithm name. This is the FN comparison graph. On the x-axis we have FN score and on the y-axis we have the algorithm name. Execution. To execute this project first we need to open the code folder which contains the project source code files. This is the code folder. This is the static folder. This folder consists of files related to CSS, JavaScript and Bootstrap files. This is the templates folder. This folder contains all the HTML pages used in the project. It typically includes files like index.html, about.html, etc., which represent different pages of the website. This is app.py file. This .py file contains the information related to front-end logic. It includes code written in Python that handles server-side operations such as processing user requests, interacting with the database, and generating dynamic content to be rendered in the HTML templates. This is model file. These are the model files which contain algorithm information which will be loaded into the project code during runtime. This is IPYNB file. This is a Jupyter notebook file which contains a combination of code, graphs and outputs all in one place. It allows users to write and execute code in individual cells making it a popular choice for data science. This is signup.db file. This file is the database file used to store user information. First, we need to copy the path of the code folder from the address bar of the file explorer. I am copying the path. Open the Anaconda prompt. Use the cd command followed by a space and paste the copied path and hit enter. This command is used to change the current directory to the code folder's path. Compile the app.py file using the command python space app.py. I am typing python space app.py and hit enter. This command will execute the python script and perform a runtime check for any syntax errors or logical issues. After running the app.py file, the flash framework will host the application locally at the default address localhost which is this. and port which is this now copy this local link provided by the flash framework i am copying the link and paste this copied link into any web browser i usually prefer google chrome and hit enter this is the home page of the project displayed in the browser if we are a new user we need to register first but i have already registered so here i am entering the credentials and then click on login I have logged in 
So here we need to upload the signature image. After uploading the image, we will predict whether the signature is genuine or forged. So here we can see this is the uploaded image and it is predicted as forgery. So we can see that this image is not genuine. Now let us upload some more signature images. And click on upload. So here we can see this is the uploaded image and the, it is predicted as genuine. It means that this signature is genuine. In this way, by uploading the signature image, we can predict whether it is genuine or forged. Now click on sign out. The conclusion of the project is the hybrid CNN HOG approach optimally combines deep learning and traditional feature extraction for efficient offline signature verification, striking a balance between accuracy and speed. Leveraging diverse feature sets from CNN, HOG and Exception alongside classifiers like SVM, KNN and LSTM demonstrates the versatility and effectiveness of the chosen classifiers in accurately classifying signatures. A user-friendly flash-based interface streamlines the process, allowing users to securely upload and analyze the signature images with an added layer of security through user authentication enhancing ease of use and data protection. Emphasizing the critical role of enhanced feature extraction in the face of adept forgery attempts, the project sheds light on the necessity of advancing the feature extraction stage in offline signature verification systems to maintain efficacy and reliability. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.